Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at Super Tux Cart, which is now available as a snap. There's been quite a few advancements to the application. I'm looking here at we have all these different races and different stats available to them. So it does make a difference which cart you choose. And we do have a few different game modes available. Three Strikes Battle, Soccer, Ghost Race, Normal Race and Story Mode. I've opted to take a look at a brand new track here called Candela City. And I have to say the graphics are much of an improvement over what I have seen before. Quite impressive for a free open source game. I'm really happy that Super Tux Cart is now available as a snap because it was getting quite difficult to find a decent copy on a third party PPA. Or even a repository that was maintained by the team. I couldn't find anything so it kind of led to me having to compile the game a couple of times. I know perhaps in distributions like Arch you may have had a more up-to-date copy, not so in Ubuntu, but happily we do now with snaps. One little catch though with a snap is that you have to connect a joystick manually, although when I say manually I do mean via the snaps, so I had to type in the command sudo snap connect super tax cart colon joystick. Doesn't seem to be any issues with the graphics and I am using an Nvidia GTX 1060 graphics card. So yeah, a graphics card which is more than capable of rendering this game in absolute top quality. So that's all the settings chosen to max. One issue though is that I could not record the application with simple screen recorder, or well, not directly from the buffer. I've had to do so the old fashioned method, so I do apologise if the quality is a little bit low. But looking at the edit here in KDN Live, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm quite chuffed that I managed to win this race, just on expert difficulty. Now one change that has been from old versions of the Super Tux Cart is the difficulty is now much steeper. Expert is no walkover anymore. Unless you had a high number of carts like I did there, but in the story mode, Expert is most certainly not a walkover. I had to do a few levels here in story mode as intermediate, because I ended up nearly launching the controller at my screen due to frustration. Yes, acting like a small child still. <laughs> well, maybe I'll grow up at some point. So not much to do in this pyramid stage, so I'll just move on to the next one, because this has been uh, another one with uh, a few changes to the race. It's what used to be the barnyard lap. I've got what it's called now. So yeah, I know I'm making it look a bit easy here, because, well, intermediate mode still is quite easy for me. It's just the step up to advanced mode is a lot steeper. Another track with some graphical improvements. Under C, sub C. Yeah. Very fancy, very fancy indeed. I think this is a new animation when you complete the Grand Prix. A few little graphical touches here. Make it look a bit fancier. And a loot crate. Well, a free loot crate in this instance. Yeah, you don't have to gamble for these. No such thing as freemium here, just free open source. So this is the first time trying one of these battle modes. So the idea of it is you have to knock spare tyres off the other cards by hitting them. So you have three spare tyres. You can sometimes gain more during the race, but yeah, three spare tyres and you knock the tyres off. And hope not to get eliminated in the time. Came close to winning this. Didn't quite though. But an interesting mode. It kind of reminds me back to the old days of uh, Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo it had a little battle mode on there. In fact, I enjoy this a lot more. This is a look at the football game. We have ice hockey and football. Here is ice hockey first, playing as Conky, and it's a reminder here of why it's nice to have a fast accelerating cart. It's the slower, heavier carts might be better in the full race, but for a little sports game, we need a fast accelerating cart like Sara the racer. But how annoying I didn't quite manage to save the puck here. Oh, hit zoo but not quite. <laughs> it's just a bit of carnage really. I'm not sure the AI was that good at the ice hockey game. But I don't know, maybe it was just my imagination. This is the first time I played this one. I played the football one briefly which we'll take a look at now. <laughs> oh boy, a few moments of frustration here where I couldn't quite get the ball into the net. <laughs> hey, let's not have any comments about girls playing football or soccer. No, no, didn't say anything at all. 
I also found it a bit difficult sometimes to actually find the football. Yes, how can I find it difficult to find that hulking great thing that's just going round? But when you get close to it, you're, it's slightly off screen. It's, I know you can see the map there on the bottom left hand side, but it's one of these things I'm sure you get used to if you played it more often. This is something like the second or third game I'd actually tried. Lessons to be learned. That was a look at Super Tux Cart as a snap. Thanks for watching. See you all later.